since the start of the pandemic, those in the mental health field are seeing an increase in people who need help. Here are some ways that you can check in with yourself and others to make sure that mental well-being isn't taking a back seat. According to a study by the CDC, from August of 2020 to February of 2021, reports of adults with symptoms of an anxiety or a depressive disorder increased from around 36% to over 40%. We have noticed uh, many, many changes in the mental health field. One is uh, many people reaching out for extra help that they never have before. Uh, people going in for the first time for um, diagnosis or help because of anxiety or depression. If you think a loved one may be suffering with their mental health, check in with them. I'm, I'm a person that believes that there's never any harm in asking in a compassionate way. So if something tells you that someone might need help, just have that open conversation and just let them know that you care about them. And then that can open up a conversation of different resources that you could access together, actually. I found that it's really helpful uh, in my support groups and when just talking about mental stress in general to be able to say, um, you know, on a scale of one to 10, where do you feel like you're at with your sensations? Is it positive or negative? Um, you know, unpleasant, pleasant, those kinds of things, creating that common language has been really helpful. Leaders in the Twin Falls community are working to meet the increase in need of mental health counseling among college students. The pandemic definitely has, uh, I would say, influence and increase in, in the usage of the services through through our, through our counseling office. Um, you know, stu students are struggling. The College of Southern Idaho hopes to keep up with student demand and are leveraging community partnerships to expand access to services and resources. Sometimes we also have an opportunity to partner with uh, local educational uh, programs like NNU, um, who have individuals who are going through um, getting their degree in counseling, um, and we offer an opportunity for them to intern with us, um, which you know increases the amount of individuals who are, are able to, to be here and, and help support students. Avoiding drugs and alcohol and keeping up with what you enjoy helps. It's, it's real important for a person uh, to try to live well. Um, exercise, getting out really helps, and, and it can be very, very difficult, but doing the best you can, stay on your routines, things that you enjoy doing, you need to continue doing that. NAMI Idaho offers free in-person and virtual support groups across the state. For resources, go to namiidaho.org. Bella Bright, Idaho News 6.